Good afternoon, everybody. This is Chris Haynes coming to you on this Thursday, October 8th from First United Methodist Church here in beautiful downtown Lexington, Tennessee. I uh, hope that you are still enjoying uh, the sunshine today. I know we're supposed to be getting some rain before too long, and so hope you're enjoying the sun and doing all the things you can while we still have the beautiful weather. Today for our, our scripture meditation, I want to read for you from the book of Exodus again, returning to Exodus, and this ties into uh, what we've been talking about. This last Sunday we talked about the Israelites receiving the Ten Commandments, and this is an extension of that as they continue to receive the fullness of God's law. And it also kind of points to what we're going to be talking about in a couple of weeks and, and be reflecting on the, uh, the people's experience with the glory of God and how sitting in God's glory can be exciting and uh, an awe-inspiring, worshipful experience, but it can also be uh, maybe more than a little bit scary sometimes uh, when we experience God directly. So... Uh, keep all of that in mind as I read for us uh, from Exodus chapter 24, beginning with verse 12. The Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and wait there, and I will give you the tablets of stone with the law and the commandment, which I have written for their instruction. So Moses set out with his assistant Joshua, and Moses went up into the mountain of God. To the elders he had said, Wait here for us until we come to you again, for Aaron and Hur are with you. Whoever has a dispute may go to them. Then Moses went up on the mountain, and the cloud covered the mountain. The glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it for six days. On the seventh day he called to Moses out of the cloud. Now the appearance of the glory of the Lord was like a devouring fire on the top of the mountain in the sight of the people of Israel. Moses entered the cloud and went up on the mountain. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. It's another interesting little detail there at the end. Whenever we see the number 40 uh, in the Bible, that's a number of fullness or completeness or signifying a, a long period of time. Uh, the Israelites wandered for 40 years in the wilderness. Moses was up on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. And so uh, he, he saw uh, something of the glory of the Lord up on the mountain. And I hope that you can think about how you see God's glory coming to you today. Sometimes it looks like it's hidden by a cloud, and sometimes it feels like it's as direct as anything we can experience. But I hope you can see a glimpse of God's glory in your life today. Uh, we do continue to pray for uh, the folks who have requested our prayers, and this week that includes uh, Ginger Perry, the sister of April Coleman, James Blowers, John King Meadows, Teresa Smith, Barbara Clement, Barbara Ratliff, Betty Dill, Doug Blaze, who is uh, one of our members who is in the hospital at Jackson General Hospital and requests our prayers as he recovers, uh, Fate Britt, and Tom Riney. We also continue to remember family and friends following the passing of Alan Fessmeyer, the passing of James Powell, and the passing of Joyce Ward, who is the aunt of Ann Anderson. Let's join our hearts together now as we go to God in prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we are to pray, and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask, except through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Together we pray for the people of our congregation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble, 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who strive for justice in our world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all workers as they go about their appointed tasks, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, national, state, and local, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for the communion of saints in every time and place, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As part of the body of Christ together, we are bold to pray using the words that Jesus himself has taught us, praying together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.